This crescent-shaped square, called Plaza de España, is one of Seville's most famous and scenic squares. The visiting time is best early in the morning, because it can get very crowded and hot in the afternoon. The architecture is stunning, and the building is adorned with colorful ceramic tiles. A canal is surrounding the plaza, crossed by four bridges representing the ancient kingdoms of Spain. Seville's Gothic Cathedral is the fourth largest in the world, and it's really a must-do when in Seville. The interior of the cathedral is incredibly wealthy decorated. Booking tickets with a time slot is necessary, and also get in line on time, due to longer waiting times. For more info, go to the link of the website of the cathedral in the description of this video. Alcazar, also known as the Royal Palace of Seville, is a breathtaking palace in the historic heart of Seville. The influences of the Moorish culture are strongly visible in the palace. Despite the bad weather this day, it was an absolute highlight. There is more to see of this magnificent palace in our full video of Seville on our channel. But in this video, we drive south to our vacation home close to Marbella, and we experience a relaxing sunny day in Malaga. Malaga. Andalusia's second-largest city, located on the Mediterranean coast, has a pleasant climate in the winter. We have visited this city several times, and it is a diverse city with many sights. It also offers plenty of opportunities to stroll along the beach and boulevard. Malaga should definitely be included in your Andalusia trip if you have the opportunity. One place that should definitely not be missed on your trip is Marbella if only to witness for a moment the prosperity that is present in this world. Puerto Banos is a small marina with big yachts, designer shops, and a number of expensive restaurants. Plaza de los Naranjos is the exact opposite of Puerto Banos. Here you will find several nice authentic restaurants serving delicious tapas. With the oranges hanging from the trees and the lovely sun on your face, I couldn't imagine a better spot. After lunch, you can walk off the calories in the cozy small streets of the historic center. Cute boutiques, a colorful church, and a peaceful vibe. Marbella has both worlds. Wonderfully touring through the Andalusian landscape, we made our way to Cadiz a beautiful and, in our opinion, underrated city. It starts from the moment you arrive as you cross the beautiful Puente Constitution Bridge. A feat of engineering, 
This can also be said about the cathedral and its magnificent towers. The interior of the cathedral is spacious and well lit, and it has incredibly beautiful details. But the view from one of its towers is perhaps the best part of our visit to the cathedral. Absolute breathtaking. Mercado Central Cadiz is the perfect place to try all the local delicacies such as Iberico ham and delicious fish. If you go there on a Sunday, you will find yourself among all the locals and a superb atmosphere. Cadiz's finale is La Caleta Beach, a beach with cute docked fishing boats and a few bars where you can enjoy the sunset with a drink. Cadiz is known for its many long-stretched beaches. However, we found La Caleta Beach fairly unique, a peaceful place to end the day. From the unique sunset in Cadiz, we go to the unique rock of Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a small overseas territory of the United Kingdom. The absolute highlight of it are the Makaki monkeys, who are all too happy to welcome you. The monkeys are a joy to watch, how they take in the scenic views and how they interact with each other. It is a special thing to see. After three to four hours of walking around in the nature reserve, it's time to head to Europa Point. Here you will find a lighthouse and a beautiful mosque. There are also some dining options, but we did not test these. Ocean Village, a stunning waterfront, nestled between two beautiful marinas and the Rock of Gibraltar. It is the ideal place to end your day in Gibraltar. This is also the place where this video ends. A full video of each destination can be found on our channel. You can find them via my pinned comment under this video by going to our channel or choosing one of the two follow-up videos at the end of this video. Either way, Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time at Ursus Brown Travel.